I got this from one of my students as a Valentine's gift and I love it. Got these clips from Ulta. I think it was Kylie. She was wearing one of these kind of clips and of course I had to have them, right? <laughs> They're okay. But if you have fine hair, it almost seems like it doesn't really have any hair to cling on to. Okay, I think we're ready. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are unboxing my February BoxyCharm box. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting for this and there's really one product in there that I am dying to try. And I'm not gonna lie, I got this box last week, exactly about a week by the time you see this video. And I thought about filming it right away, but there's a lot of unboxings out there. I wanted to just kind of take it a step further and give you a review and a little bit of my thoughts and opinions about the products in the box. So what I did was I've been trying out the products all week last week. So I've had a good four to five days. I wanna say five days of trying the products in this box. Okay, first off, when I first opened my box, I noticed that I didn't get a card, that pink insert card that they've been showing all over social media. It has all the pricing in there. And then a day later, I got an email from BoxyCharm stating that I got a virtual February insert card. But I really would have preferred having the card. That's a nice added touch, you know, to the whole box. And, and I could show you the theme, of course, is February month. The card itself says adore. Um, so it's very cute, very Valentine themed. I still feel like it's Valentine's. Did you guys do anything fun? Um, my husband and I rarely go to the movies. And this time we went to watch Bad Boys 2. Hilarious, so funny from the beginning to the end. There was not a boring moment. It was a great movie. I highly suggest you guys watch it. So yeah, so back to the card. My theory is that some people got it, some people didn't. I think there's a batch of BoxyCharm boxes. Somebody forgot to do their job right and forgot to put the inserts in the boxes. So that's my theory. I kind of like it though, having that virtual card because now I can literally include it in my video. Always look at the bright side, right? Okay, first things first. First item that I immediately looked for is the Becca foundation. I have been wanting to try different types of foundations. That's kind of like my goal this year. I'm in search for the best foundation for oily skin. It's Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation is definitely for oily skin gals. So next one that I want to put on my face because oh my gosh, it's so dry and parched right now is this facial radiance pads to help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. I love that I got this in my box. For one thing, I have the full size of this. This isn't a full size, it says it's $16. I've tried one that is a little bit taller, like this much. I got this because it tones, it brightens, and exfoliates. And who doesn't want to combine all three of those steps into one, right? So let's go ahead and open it because it's been a while. I ran out of the product. It didn't get into my favorites, empties, and I have like three videos of empties already. And I don't think it made it to my favorites, but that's okay. And it's not a bad product at all. You have a soft side. So if you can see that, that's a soft side. And then you also have like a more rough side. Just gonna go ahead and put it on my face. I love this when you're on the go, maybe you're on a trip and you don't have to bring your toner, your exfoliator, and you also have a little bit of skincare thrown in because of the brightening properties. It's $16, I'm pretty sure this is the smaller size, made specifically for BoxyCharm. Contains the right amount of lactic and glycolic acids to safely and effectively exfoliate tone and brightens all skin types. I feel some of the products working there. First Aid Beauty is a great brand. They have one of my most favorite moisturizers and I wanna try more products from First Aid Beauty. So now I'm switching to the smoother side and just kind of going over my skin. I feel a little bit of stinging. I think that has to do with the glycolic and lactic acids. I think I would have preferred putting a toner first 
and then go in with this to kind of prepare my skin for it. I'm saving this for my son. Just the convenience factor, guys. You want a three-in-one product, this is it. I love this when I want to exfoliate hard to reach places and I'm not in the shower. So for example, my son, he has back knee. He's gonna hate me for saying this, but he doesn't care. He has too much confidence in himself to care about this and he knows everybody has <laughs> in his age group has back knee, acne, every acne <laughs> there is already. So, uh, use this on his back like he's done with showering, you know, we just wipe this on his back and he's done. Um, so far, I need a moisturizer. <laughs> I'm just gonna spray my face with my Smashbox water primer. Ooh, it feels much better now. The other thing that I was so excited on getting was these. Alamar brushes. All three of these are worth $36. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I use them so they're a little dirty. <laughs> but we got a brightening brush. So I think this is a brush that you can, you know, kind of pat the powder under your eyes and it's dense enough. I wanna use this for, um, for masking, like clay mask. It's nice and um, tapered and flat. I could show that to you. Please ignore my nails, okay? This one I accidentally chopped off while I was cooking. <laughs> the other brush that I got here in the set is the, this one says bronzer brush. It's nice and dense. It might be a little too dense for me, but I think if you have like a cream bronzer, it would really, really apply this well onto your face. I use it for foundation. I think it's dense enough. It's a little less dense than my actual um, complexion brush from IT Cosmetics, but very similar. Very soft, really good quality. I think the choices were between the sponge set or the brush set. I'm so excited getting these. And I think if I got the sponge, I would be equally just as excited. So yay. And then of course, this looks like a contour or complexion brush. It's very soft, fluffy. It has that kind of angle to it. I love the gold handle, by the way. It's so nice. I think I want to use this as a blush maybe as a contour blush, so we'll definitely use this. I'll show some parts of me applying my makeup on this video, so. And then I also got Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Like I said, I <laughs> tried all of the products in the box. Um, so let me just clean it up for you. Ciate London, their translucent powder is one of my favorite. I love the packaging, by the way. Their everyday translucent setting powder. I may have it. Here, extraordinary translucent powder. It's all empty. This one I got in my FabFitFun box, by the way. Amazing. I'm so glad I got this one. It's one of my favorite, favorite powders. It has some brightening properties. And this one, I'm not sure. I don't really see brightening properties but it's still a good setting powder it's still a good powder for baking i still love it but i like this a little bit more this one that i got from boxycharm is called everyday vacay coconut setting powder it is 22 dollars guys and the only thing i don't love is the coconut scent i am paranoid with anything coconut because i feel like it's gonna break me out it has done that before as i'm applying it i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna break out but i didn't um i've been using this for a good five days now it's been my setting powder my baking powder all week and i love it so it's amazing other than the strong coconut scent. It doesn't linger, of course. It goes away after you put it on. If I were to repurchase, of course, I'd get the extraordinary one, but this is a good size. Love it. And then the last thing in my box is the Evio Skin Aurora Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. This one, I was just meh about. If I get wipes in my box, it's such an exciting expendable or you know you run out of it so quickly like it's not really a permanent item that you could keep but this is a good um, cleansing wipe it's biodegradable it can remove waterproof makeup it's removed my makeup really well but I don't think 
it's that good at removing waterproof makeup. And when I first got out the first wipe, it was one of those wipes that are soapy. But the second, third, and fourth wipes, they were fine. They were just a good amount of moisture, especially if you had a uh, full face of makeup on you want that kind of moisture on your face but it doesn't leave me feeling greasy or dirty or like wanting to wash off my face when you open this the first one is wet and soapy like with bubbles you that for like cleaning off makeup on your table you know what i mean and then the second one it gets better and better so i don't mind it i'll go ahead and apply foundation i'm so proud of myself I was able to select the correct shade for me i picked the color I picked the color olive. Look at this nice bottle from Becca. Oh my gosh, I love it. Actually, I picked a darker color because I knew summer was coming up. I had to make sure that I had foundation for darker skin. It still works for me even though I'm lighter, but I know I can make it work when I do get darker. Okay, so let me tell you. Let me tell you, this is the most full coverage foundation that i've tried the other one that i've tried before was by um gosh the name of the brand is not coming to me where are my empties wait 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 oh, gosh. that's what happens when you're in a little tiny corner well, the whole time i was setting this up the foundation just stayed thick like that try this foundation different ways i've tried it with nothing on my face just moisturizer and toner cleanse my face that kind of thing and it was beautiful but <clears throat> without any kind of primers it felt kind of heavy on the face on application but being that i'm an oily skin gal after an hour or two it looked beautiful this is full coverage guys it filled in my pores and it just looked better and better each hour throughout the day you guys this is like the most lasting foundation that i've ever used without being cakey i've used the lancome tint idole foundation and i'm all out this is also another full coverage foundation it's another long wear foundation yes it feels comforting but after four hours i'm like an oily grease ball with a thick mask on her face and it doesn't really last as long like especially in my t-zone this one lasts guys i love this foundation this is my new favorite if you have dry skin you're gonna hate it i can't explain it but it fills in my pores i look flawless i don't look like i have thick makeup on at least that's how i feel and then i also pried it with two of my favorite pore filling primers my benefit pore professional and also the pore refiner like i just have a sample of it from dr brand and um yeah i've tried both of these primers and they prevented me from getting oily on the t-zone now i told you my face eats up makeup makeup lasts for maybe four to six hours on my skin this lasted a good seven hours and it was still looking beautiful and maybe around the 12 hour mark that's when it starts to kind of disappear like around my t-zone but otherwise this is a good foundation guys i love it tried a mattifying primer my cover effects and yeah this is the one that made it last longer around the t-zone the other thing also is that i prefer using a beauty blender i don't know why i reach for the brush i wanted you guys to see this in action but really um beauty blender is the way to go because it's such a thick formula you want to bring back that moisture back into the face evens out the foundation and the skin better can you guys tell that it kind of just filled in my pores it just made it disappear <laughs> It's full coverage, guys. It's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> I'm just gonna put concealer real quick. Oh my gosh, I'm trying this out. Brand new e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. Now, you guys know I did a review between ColourPop and e.l.f. And I'll put that in the cards above me or at the end of the video if you guys want to watch that. So I can't wait to tell you guys how I feel about the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So be on the lookout for a future video. And next, I want to show you guys the Everyday Vacay Powder. I'm glad I got it in my um, BoxyCharm box. <laughs> It 
It's like tasting pina colada. <laughs> and now I'm using the Alamar brush to kind of set my concealer. Oh, I just can't stand the coconut smell. Does anyone use it like this? <laughs> So let me show you guys this. I have foundation on my hand and let's just go ahead and wipe it. So, yep, this is what it looks like. And let's just wipe off the foundation so it doesn't look soapy or wet, especially if you have a full face of makeup on. So it took away all of that. It's biodegradable. And oh, you know what? I haven't used it. So let's go ahead and apply the bronzer. You can pinch it and kind of semi-contour your nose. So let's just contour a bit. But I'm also gonna use it for blush. So let's just get this. Blush from Too Faced. I'm just gonna do a simple eye, guys. Um, put on mascara and brow gel, and I think that's it. So that is it, guys. I've tried everything in the box. Um, so let's go over the price. Becca is $44. Alamar Brush Trio is $36. The Ciate London Setting Powder is $22. The First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads is $16. And the Evio Beauty Cleansing Wipes are $10. So the grand total of my BoxyCharm box is $128. And I only paid $25 this month. And that includes shipping, guys. I don't have to pay extra for shipping. I love everything that I got. Yay! Last month, I didn't really feature my January box because it was all skincare. I actually appreciate these kinds of boxes from BoxyCharm. I would prefer lower and affordable priced items but something that I could definitely use and immediately use and appreciate. Overall, this box was a hit. My favorite was definitely the Becca foundation. So that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this BoxyCharm unboxing slash review. Um, hopefully you got some value out of this. If you like this video and learned something, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Till the next BoxyCharm unboxing. I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!